more ideas for plastic waste coming your way. This is our project for today. It is, I must admit, a basic self-indulgence. I needed a small, small little container or carry-all purse type thing for cards or coupons or something like that. And so I took the plastic, that plastic that I just showed you, and I added some fabric and fabric Mod Podge and a little Tim Holtz bug. And I made this nice little container. It opens with um, these little, uh, what do you call it, things? I don't know. And then inside I've decorated it. So it uh, velcroed. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice little carry all or a nice little container just for small things that I might need to carry around. My daughter suggested that I put maybe chains on it and it could be carried like a little purse, which perhaps today when we do ours, I will do. But it really is an adorable little, little purse and I hope you'll enjoy making it. It does have a lot of texture to it. So um, if you are a person who doesn't really like texture, you might not like this, but I don't know. Stick around and we'll see. Okay, I have cut my plastic and trimmed up the sides. And now I am using Fabric Mod Podge and I'm going to coat this. I'm hoping that if I coat it, that'll keep the light from bouncing off the plastic and into your eyes, into the camera. Anyway, I'm coating it this way because it seems to help the plastic um, not to crack when when it's bent. And it does the same thing for some of the cardstock that I work with also. I really like working with this. And since this is the first coat I put on, um, I don't mind the the um the brush strokes showing but after as i go on in this process i will stipple it so that we don't have the strokes showing as much now i'm doing this because i have already i've already gone ahead and put the fabric mod podge on the fabric that i intend to put on here and Mod Podge meeting, you know, I guess glue meeting glue, it's, it tends to hold better. So I'm going to let this dry and uh, hold on, I'm going to show you the fabric that I've already treated. Put this to the side. This is the cardstock. It is a big scrap that I had left. That's what I'm going to use to make the little, um, the little enclosure inside the plastic. This is the fabric that I found. Actually, I found it around Christmas. I thought, oh, this is so beautiful. So I fussy cut the flowers and treated them with fabric Mod Podge. And that's what we're going to use to make this. And as far as an embellishment, I do have some more of those nice little bugs from Tim Holtz. So maybe I'll use them. Maybe I'll use something else. But this is our. Um, this is what we're going to be working with. I have cut my um, my cardstock. I've cut it so that um, so that I would have a reasonable portion of space at the top. Uh, about two centimeters at the top here and here so when this is folded with its flap it will only come up to be about yeah about right there so two centimeters at the top here and here and since I don't know what size your plastic might be I can't or it would be, be unwise to give you know um, exact measurements okay so two centimeters 
on the top of each. And that is, now I've got about a three centimeter allowance for my fold here. My fold, and I have scored across here for my fold. And I've scored down here for the fold where I'm going to fold up the bottom. So I'll place these here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with fabric Mod Podge because I've noticed that it it keeps my cardstock from cracking. So these are the two accordion fan sides, and I have scored them. I don't know if you can see these scores. Um, I've scored one quarter of an inch over here and one quarter of an inch over here and a half inch equal intervals. So when I get ready to fold them, the accordion, you know, you'll get the, the correct dimensions for your accordion fold. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover these with the fabric Mod Podge and then we're going to see if we can arrange our flowers on our plastic in a way that is pleasing and uh, will kind of allow us to now I'm putting I'm not putting a lot on here and it will pucker up a little bit but all in all it will keep it from from um, from cracking when I get ready to make my folds okay that might do it. Oh my. Probably should have used another brush, but okay. We'll let that dry. And we'll do these little guys. And they have been scored. And interestingly enough, the score lines will remain there. But when I go to uh, to fold them, I won't have to worry so much about cracking. Here's the last little fella. Okay. I don't know. I hope your day is going well. Mine's going pretty well. I had my uh, matcha from Starbucks. Oh, I have. I am in love with uh, matcha green tea. So that's my shortcoming. All right. Now let's look at our flower. Let's bring back our plastic and see what we might do. Now remember, this is coated on the back with our Mod Podge, but I want to arrange this in a way that will still allow for me, if I choose, to put um, to put holes in this for a little chain, like a little purse. And I think if I do it this way, that looks kind of nice. Let's see how this is going to look. And this will be under it. Uh, let's see if we can work it around in other ways. We want to get it, we want to do it in a way that we find pleasing, but that doesn't uh, take up so much space that we won't be able to um, successfully put punch the holes for our Let's see how this is going to look. Okay. I can go with that one. What I'll do is once I apply this, if I have to trim it, and it looks like I might have to trim it, I'll just let it dry, and then I will commence the trimming. Let me move this down here a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get an idea of how it's going to look. If this is the front, let me see, okay, this will be the inside. Um, I don't know, maybe I want a little more of the flower, of the complete flower in here. But I don't want to have to punch a hole through. Oh, let's look at this side. Where, oh, alrighty, I think we have found our placement because this leaves uh, space here for a hole and here for a hole in both sides. Alrighty, so I'm going to apply Fabric Mod Podge to this 
And I will kind of put it on a little thickly for this. There we go. Okay. You can settle down there. And it dries completely clearly. So you don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Okay. Other side. Hope you can see. Okay. Okay, now we will get this over here and make sure it's secure. I know this looks kind of Christmassy, I guess. I don't care. Nothing wrong with Christmas. But it's just, I, I guess I love red. I love bright, bright colors. And so naturally this just kind of caught my attention. Now what I'm gonna do is stipple this a little bit. And when I say stipple, I mean I'm just going to take my, um, my stencil brushes and kind of go over it. So we don't have so much of the of the uh, brush strokes that we are have to look at. Some people don't like the brush strokes. This so this kind of gets rid of those, and it just kind of gives it a a stipply texture, but not a lined texture. Okay, so. We're going to let this dry. Actually, I might end up letting it dry overnight. So, as you can see, our flowers are nicely placed. And when it dries, it'll be very clear. And we'll trim this, we'll trim that, we'll trim this and that. And uh, so now that we put this aside, we can check and see how this is doing. This dries pretty quickly, but it's not quite dry. So when everything is completely dry, we'll come back and uh, finish our project. Okay, here we are. And everything has had ample time to dry, thank goodness. It's actually a, a day or two later because I got occupied with other things and didn't get back to this. But as you can see, this is dry. And this is how you can tell it's dry on the inside because it's just as clear, you can see, here as it is here. And this is, this, this is the outside that I stippled and everything. But when it's wet, you can see the milky, the milky, um, Fabric Mod Podge, but when it's completely dry, it's clear. So we know it's dry, and we are on a mission to trim off the the little edges that hung off. And I never do that until I'm sure it is completely dry. So we're going to trim this off carefully so we don't cut our plastic. Alrighty. Oops. One more. One more. Okie doke. We're gonna, okay, all righty. So this is gonna be the front. And right here where I've put these dots, this is where I'm going to put the holes for the chain I plan to put through. Ooh, another one, another sticky outie that I've got. Okay, all right, I'm gonna trim that. And now that that is dry, and I think it's very, I love these bright flowers. I'm gonna put this to the side and we're going to look at the inside, the little, purse part. Now I covered this with fabric Mod Podge which gives it a nice, um, I don't know, it gives it a little tiny bit of waterproofing and as you can see it did not bow up so I'm pleased with that. Now this will be our, our, our uh, flap, yeah our flap 
and it'll fold up to here. And as I folded it up, as you can see, there's very little, if any, cracking. I don't know if you can see that. But the Fabric Mod Podge does protect against the cracking. Now, I want to, I want to decorate this a bit. Um, but before I do decorate the inside, I think it's pretty if the inside, when you open it up, you see a pretty little inside thing. And that makes it kind of nice. So, let's see. Uh, oops, first, before I do any inside, oops, sorry. I'm going to put a little bit of um, Scotch brand packing tape across here just to make it a little stronger. Okay. Because we're going to punch holes in here in order to apply it to our plastic outside. Okay. And let me trim this carefully so I don't cut the cardboard. That just helps it not to, you know, when I put the holes through it and put the ribbon through it, it just gives it an extra protection. So, now since we will be looking at it this way, okay. I The last one I put in the flap was this way. But this one, this time I think I'm going to make the flap to go, go to the, to get, yeah, to go to this way. Hold on, let me check, hold on. Yeah, okay, this is the other one, the first one, and the flap went to the back. But I think I might have the flap come to the front this time. Okay. So anyway, we've got this to protect the bottom, and since we'll be, we'll be looking at it this way, let's put a butterfly here. So when you look at it this way, you have this nice friendly butterfly and I have already put some tape on here so I can just apply him. Now I'm using uh, what two-sided tape, double stick tape, whatever you call the stuff. This is what I kind of like because it doesn't um, doesn't warp the paper. So if you're looking at it, you open your little thing. Okay, this way. All right. So we're going to put this here and we don't want to get it so close to the edges that it interferes with our accordion fold and here's our accordion fold so yeah that's that's good okay so that's that side and then on this side I think we're going to put a little arrangement of tiny flowers and tiny butterflies and we're going to see how that goes. Might as well. Let's see. Okay. Tiny flowers. Although this looks like some kind of pollen that might make me sneeze. But anyway, we'll just put it here. And we'll surround it with other little flowers that would probably also make me sneeze. But, okay, such is life. Okay. And a nice little arrangement. And I think we have one more flower. Just something so that when you open it, it gives you a little smile. And I think flowers and butterflies a lot of times give people a little smile. Okay, so there's our little flower arrangement. And we've got a few butterflies. I'll take the tape off of this. Put it to the side. Maybe, eh, maybe one butterfly might do it. After all, we've got the big mama butterfly on the other side. Okay, I think that'll do it. We might not even need any more. Okay, so that's our inside, and that's how that's going to look. When we open it from this way, we'll see the big mama butterfly, but we'll also know that the others are here. Now, I'm going to put this to the side for just a moment, and we're going to go to our accordion fold. Now, I, I ended up having to redo these and stretch them out to one, two, three, four, five inches. I think before I didn't quite have that many, but I wanted a larger stretch. 
and I'm folding in the first one. There's about a half inch between these when I scored them. Okay, I scored them, then I folded them like a fan. Okay, and I'm folding this one inside. Okay, this will be the first one. And then this one, just like you would fold a fan when you were little. Now we're getting a little bit of cracking here, but not much. There, this here, and there. Just like when you were little and you used to make fans. I know I used to make fans when I was little because it got hot and where I was growing up and sometimes you just had to make a fan to fan yourself. So there is a minimum of cracking and these are our accordion folds, okay? So we have a little more cracking here than we did for the larger part, but I think that's because we're making a much tighter fold. We're going to put these to the side. And we're going to get this back. And what we have to do now is make what I, well, what is called a, a pamphlet stitch. And that is this kind of stitch that people use when they're putting signatures or groups of pages into the books that they make. Now, one of the things that I like to do is make a little pattern. And I like to use um, graph paper because it's easier to measure. So if this is my graph paper, and I'm going to want three holes in this. And those three holes will guide me to the holes that I need to make to go through um, the little this little part of my purse. So what I'm going to do is fold this in half this way. Okie doke. And then I'm going to fold it in half again this way. And so when I open it up, I have one, two, three basic three folds, and then I'm going to fold it in half this way. So this will be my guide for putting my holes into my, um, into my, okay, this is one fold, this will be one hole, this will be our middle hole, this will be our last hole. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of use this as a guide. I'm going to fold this up. Actually, I can kind of fold it, make sure it's in there. And I'm going to use a clip to kind of hold it in. There we go, this side, and I'm going to put this book down and use an awl to, as you notice, I'm bringing this in because we're going to attach this to this using this stitch. So I'm going to place this where I want it. Uh oh, sorry, I put this in a little too fast. I want it to be right about in the middle here and I'm going to kind of clip that in okay and I'm, I've got the Sudoku book as you can see it has been stabbed many times but I use that so I can take my be sure I just stick the hole all the way all the way through ouch I just stuck myself and that is that was not the intention okay here goes for hole number one. Hole number two. Hole number three. Okay, now did I put them on the right side? Is this the right side? No, I didn't. But all I need to do is take it out 
lift it up because I want to be sure yeah I want it to open from this way this time yeah this is the front okay all right so I just have to make sure it's lined up again yeah there it is and these are our holes from the outside now I am going to widen these holes a little bit because um, I'm going to have to sew my uh, I'm going to sew this in so I'm going to widen them in and then I will show you how to well now I've you can see the pamphlet stitch on so many different channels so I'm not going to do that again but I'm going to sew sew it in and then we'll come back when it's already in okay we have used a pamphlet stitch which basically goes the needle goes in the middle up through here back down through <laughs> back down through here and then back up through the middle to give us a nice stable way of holding in our in this case our little purse okay so this is the way we're looking so far and this is the way we look from the outside and uh, I think the black and white and red really really looks nice together okay so now it's time to put in our accordion fold and we're going to do that with actually I kind of like to use now I'm putting it up just a little higher and to given a little bit of air at the bottom and what I'm going to do is basically put our glue on both of these both of these ends stick it in and then hold it until it sets a little bit and then we will that's how we're going to do our accordion fold and sometimes it's tricky because sometimes stuff slides around when you don't think it should slide around but it didn't care what you thought it slid around anyway okay I've got this nice little little con container for my for my glue but unfortunately sometimes the glue turns brown okay all right all right I actually kind of prefer to do these maybe one at a time I'm just putting the glue on the edge because I don't want it to get all over the rest of the accordion fold I think let me see maybe I'm going to hold it right in here like this okay see how I'm holding it so that this part is the only part that touches there we go oh wrong 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 we want the oops man we just shot it across the desk how about that oh! you, I know it's March Madness but I'm not been recruited to any team to be shooting stuff across okay we want this to be on the outside and that's a mistake you don't want to make so I'm going to place it right here and make sure that it's so so you can see when you see it the inside it's just almost at the butterfly wing but not quite there and this lines up right here pull it down and I am going to clip it I'm going to use my clips so it holds and there we go so it's going to take it a little bit of time and then after that I'm going to squeeze it down 
open up the side and do the other side but I'm going to wait have to wait till this dries so I think I will do the other the other side and then after that dries that's when we'll do that's when we'll do our second side same thing bring it up lay it in there whoops we almost got our butterfly a little too close but we'll move this out okay all right let me get my clip and clip this Oops, 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 what is that? Huh? Uh, hush style thing. Okay, so I'm going to let these set, and when they're dry, I'll come back, and we will do our other side. At this point, this is set, and your project should look something like this. So your next step is pretty simple. You're just going to put the glue on this, side of your accordion fold and on this side of your accordion fold and you're going to oopsie 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 did i forget to put the pen in here so this would not clog up oh boy always something and the pen does not want to go back it says i have rusted and i've been through it and okay finally went let's just see if we can get some glue out okay you're gonna come are you going to come out, or are you going to stay in there and give me a hard time? Ah, okay, come out. All right, so we're going to put just a bead down here, and we're going to put a bead down here. Okay, and now we're going to fold, fold, fold. And we're going to fold on this side the same way. We're going to try to keep from getting our hands in the glue, but that might not be possible. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I could put this down. And I'm going to try to hold it with the clip and see how that works. Sometimes things work and sometimes things don't. All right, there we go. I'm going to fold, 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 fold. And see if I can't now place this side down and remove the clip for this side. Ah, okay. All right. So. Now our accordion fold should look like this on each side and we're going to want to hold it or place something heavy on it to let it dry and our next step will be to put our holes in here and our chain through and we should be done. Now, okay, we'll come back when it's dry and finish up. At this point, I'm going to attach attach a little beaded chain, a little gold beaded chain, and grommets, or I don't know, what do you call them, um, to go on here so the beaded chain can go through. Now, I'm going to use my big old... A uh, cruncher, crocodile, crocodile, and I am going to aim this right at the hole that I made. I'm going to try to put it at the top of the hole. I don't know if you can see that or not, but ugh, anyway, the top of the hole. Okay, and I'm going to put one in, one gold. On it. Sometimes it's hard to get them in on the plastic, but we'll see. 
Stick this through there. Oh, that wasn't so bad. All right. Now, all I have to do is crunch it. Okay. So that's one. And now that you've seen how I put them in, I'll put the other three in. And I'll come back. Okay, now that we've got our grommets in, okay, on all sides, we need to put in some little Velcro fasteners so this doesn't go flapping all around and um, annoying us. Okay, I'm putting, I have put these four pretty soft little Velcro dots in and that's about the uh, strength I need for this so we can close it this way and now to put our chain in I'm using this little ball and ball chain that can come off of um, any maybe old fan or whatever and I'm putting it in this way I'm putting it through these holes Okay, if you can see in this hole, okay, <clears throat> and then I'm pulling it back, and I'm, it'll hang pretty long, and maybe if you make one, you won't want it to hang quite as long, but I don't know, I just think it'll be nice if I can carry it kind of like a shoulder bag. Okay, so I'm putting it through there that way. And then I will join these because this is stuff that basically you can recycle. That's the whole point of this. And sometimes you have you know, these little chains and things from when you changed out a light or whatever. So anyway, this way or if you're ready to lock it and close it, just bring the chain through and carry it this way. All right. Okie doke. I know, I know that a project like this can seem a little overwhelming. Um, now, just about everything I use for this project is scrap. And granted, I do have scraps from 12 by 12 paper, but I save calendars and when calendars go, you know, when they go on sale because it's late in the year, this is a 12 by 12 calendar and this would make a beautiful little inside for a purse like I, like I just made. I showed you the plastic that comes with, um, I don't know, muffins or salads or whatever. And then if you have a hole punch and as far as the chain is concerned, if you have an old um, light fixture or something in your garage that has a, 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 a pull chain, there are ways to do these projects with what you have and recycle things. That is what I'm kind of trying to do. And um, granted, something like a crop, crop a dial, yes, this is not something most people have, but um, you could just do it with your hope make the hole with your hole puncher and this fabric mod podge is about seven or eight bucks but this little bottle has carried me through quite a few projects so um when you look at this i hope you won't look at it as something that's impossible to do or um you know and, and just elmer's glue to glue in your your um your fan part so it give it a try give it a try it's fun i hope you'll come back and craft with me again don't forget to give me a like if you like this project and don't forget to subscribe thank you